welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Adatullah with another new video uh, in our previous video I have shown you about uh, many tutorial in many tutorial about Tekla structural you know, designer software Tekla uh, portal frame designer software so uh, in this lecture I'm going to show that how will create a portal frame by using Tekla structural designer okay by I mean uh, Tekla portal frame designer right so by using that software and our software version in 2019 and if you don't know about that how to download that software you can uh, and how to install that software you can uh, take the link given in description uh, to downloading process of our software right so first of all I'll open our here take a portal frame designer just click here and if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon after that um, here is our portal frame portal frame designer software now I will just click here new before that I will go here file and I'll change our uh, preferences okay. so preferences here I'll just uh, take the data here so uh, if you think that you want to work in US got this customary then you can select that but I will use matrix after that go here materials okay uh, from here materials and from here select which code you want to apply here I will use US code USA United States of America code and they have many country code here actually so Europe code Australia code Japan US and South Africa then I will select an USA after that color what will be the color of your uh, has the rafter color columns color columns base valley valley beam here everything there have so what you want to use actually here so you can change your color here color from here after that uh, auto save uh, after after how times uh, later you want to save your data from here after that portal frame okay so from here uh, after portal um, and, I mean portal frame what will be the uh, load here you can uh, give it your data suppose our uh, dead load what will be our dead load 0 0.1 kilonewton per meter square service load 0 0.15 kilonewton then uh, I will give it a dead load 0 0.2 kilonewton I will give service load as uh, 2 point 0 0.35 and our impost load that have here impost load means or live load or applying load then it will be 0 0.5 actually okay it's done then is the length coefficient and depth coefficient you can uh, give that in data then apex hence is the length coefficient and depth coefficient I not change anything here and the base what will be the base I mean I will select base level as 0 here base level as 0 meter okay then our uh, solver it's okay so our everything is done then I'll just press okay right after that I'll click here here new if you uh, have any project already have done then you have to just click here I'll open folder uh, in folder send then I'll just click here new okay then just you have to give it uh, job number okay so I will give it 0 to then project this is the project name or anything okay I'll give your YT after that uh, you have to give a structure I'll give is still you can give anything and take by the school of civil engineering the school of civil engineering okay so here is the, our channel name take by school of civil engineering after that I'll click OK now from here uh, our frame number 1 done then number of a span I will select just number 1 a span okay and the effective frame center I'll give her uh, 6 meter done 6 meter okay after that I'll press OK now after pressing OK just you have to give here total properties of our I mean portal frame properties you, you can see from here that it's portal frame properties just you have to give your data here after that
here first of all that frame so from here uh, the span number of span just click here edit so from here you have to give here the data from type it will be a standard okay it will be a standard type then a span what is the span actually the span means from uh, your one column to another column distance through raster okay I mean uh, total port portal frame uh, I mean um, distance between two columns of a portal frame so I'll just give it 15 meter right after that LS if level LS if level what will be the if level height so I have discussed about everything in my another um, previous tutorial series I mean uh, how to design and analysis a portal frame in Tecla Stacular Designer there I have designed about every that uh, terms the what is what and what is the level of it so just uh, come here if level I'll just give her suppose uh, 6 meter right 6 not 6 meter 6 point suppose 2 I'll give its height 6.2 meter and here is the important thing if slope what is the slope all that also I have discussed in my that tutorial series I think you should uh, see our first lecture I mean portal frame or uh, des uh, design portal frame by using take less structural designer so here I'll give it a degree then it's done after that press ok right now I'll go here valley what is the value valley actually okay so uh, I'll select a column uh, both column cause uh, valley means what is the main meaning of valley all uh, also have discussed there I mean suppose our the connection point two connection point of our two columns of different two portal frame then base I have already provided its pin pinned and also its zero zero level it is done after that Hans what will be the Hans height here is the value actually uh, just I'll give here 1.5 span 1 LS if span 1 okay uh, left if I'll give her 1.8 give her 1.8 and also it will be another right it will 1.8 and uh, here is span 1 is span on epic I'll give her 0 0.9 and I'll give her 0 0.9 okay so it's done and her depth what will be the depth I'll give her 0. Point, uh, 5 also I'll give her 0. Point 0.5 and it's 0. Point 0.3 and also it's uh, 0. Point 0.3 right so it's done after that I'll just uh, click here also we can change that data it's not 0 0.3 it's 0 0.4 it's also 0 0.4 then it's done after that we'll come here rafter this is the important thing rafter so from rafter okay just uh, from here we'll select the rafter and we'll select rafter for column we'll select internal column also here internal column then it's done uh, will not do anything with that then I'll click her ok just click ok and see that here is our portal frame and uh, just see here this is our uh, portal frame I mean our uh, if length I mean apex sorry our apex hands length it's uh, it's 0 0.9 0 0.9 and it's uh, depth was 0 0.4 so I'll just uh, change that data Oops. I'll give her 0 0.3 and I'll give her 0 0.3 Hands. This is for upper hands. Sorry. I'll do not do anything here. 
0 0.3 0 0.3 and see how happen here just see here it's a little bit depth little bit decrease so here is your member and this is your eve height 0 0.6 0 0.6 here and 0 0.5 in this is your uh, eve hunch uh, depth and here is the 1.8 meter eve hunch length similarly that side and that is our uh, rafter and this is our columns so uh, it's done actually after that when it's done we have to now design that we have to design that we have to design our base uh, point I mean our, our we have to design our base also and also our that uh, if connection and apex connection okay that if connection and apex connection so uh, in our next video I will show that how we'll design that okay how we'll design that so I'll just simply click here save and from here I will just in portal frame I'll just save that okay portal frame one that name I'll save there simply and then save it okay it's done so uh, in our next video I will show you that how we'll design our uh, portal frame by using portal frame a tecla portal frame designer so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video comment our video and don't forget to share our video with your engineer friend so thank you thank you very much your own like and your own comment inspires for the next work